Thank you everybody for being here. We're so excited to be here. Oh. Now, NYC, now NYC has a long and proud history of electing some of this city's most formidable and progressive leaders of the last 40 years. And today is no different. This slate of candidates understands the issues that women face every day in our city. The issues of child care, education, equality, safety on the streets, safety in their homes, workplace discrimination, trying to get ahead in your career. And the candidates here today are all committed to improving the lives of women and girls and our families here in New York. So I'm so very, very proud to endorse this amazing group of women and men. As you know, currently the City Council is about 35% women, 18 out of 51. We'd like to see those numbers go up. We are losing two because there are two races in which there are no women candidates. So it is more important than ever this year to support and help elect the women that care about us. The women's vote is more important this year than it has been in a very long time. So it's my great pleasure to introduce the candidates to you, uh, and we'll, they'll each be speaking for a couple of minutes. And first, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you Miss Helen Rosenthal. For over 25 years, from her days working here in City Hall to her public service at Community Board 7, she's always spoken out on the issues important to women across New York City, whether it's pushing to expand mentoring services that reintegrate recently incarcerated women into society. Helen has worked tirelessly to life for women and families throughout the world. Saying, and I, I wonder if I don't speak for all the women here, that growing up, uh, I just knew that my role model and who I was, what defined me, was now the National Organization of Women. It was just who I was. And this endorsement today is a validation of that and for all of us. And it means so much to me, Sonia. I really appreciate that. So I want to start by thanking now New York City and Sonia Osario for this endorsement. I'm honored to receive your support and humbled to be standing alongside such powerful women who I hope to work with in city government. As mothers and sisters and daughters, we know that women are the glue to any family and often the glue for their communities as well. When women's lives are secure, their children are more likely to succeed in school and their communities are more likely to thrive. When a child's life is cut short by a bullet, it's the mothers who organize and get guns off the streets. When a drunk driver kills someone, it's the mothers who organizers who organizes to get them off the road. When communities have been lost to drugs, it's the mothers who organize to get the dealers off the corners. The government's job is to ease the burden for those women, whether it's by ensuring equal pay or paid sick days. Our government must support women who count on government to protect them from domestic violence and sex trafficking. Our city must support women who need access to reproductive health care, including abortions, and protect them from unscrupulous crisis pregnancy centers. Thank you now, New York City, for your hard work and your support and encouragement, working side by side with you and my colleagues in the city council. I will be a fierce advocate for women. Thank you. Yeah. 